So as I draw my lengthy contribution to a close, and I do realise I'm keeping some people at least from the bar, so I do apologise, I want to say a few words about the Morning Star. It's a fantastic newspaper. I'm proud to buy it every day. I hope that each of you buy it every day, because if each of you do buy it every day, it means the co-op uh, in Hebden Bridge will have to get a few more copies uh, than uh, it does. It's a fantastic newspaper, and we've got to remember the struggles, historically and in the present day, which have sustained the only daily socialist newspaper in the English language around the world. It's the truth that this newspaper many years ago was banned. It's the truth that journalists for the Morning Star ended up being locked up for being journalists for the Morning Star. I don't think anyone's ever been in prison for writing an article in The Guardian. Even Polly Toynbee hasn't managed that one. But these are the struggles which gave us this precious resource that we still have today, the Morning Star, where every day we can read about struggles of working people here in your hometown and struggles of working people across the UK and around the world too. It's a precious resource. So I'd say, when it comes to the Morning Star, buy it, sell it, buy shares in it, that's fine, you can be a shareholder, it's encouraged in this instance. <laughs> and do all you can to promote what is the voice of the Labour, Trade Union and Socialist and Internationalist movement here in the UK. Let's make sure the Morning Star burns as brightly as ever. Let's make sure the Morning Star never dims. Together, I know we can keep this daily miracle because that's what it is for the last 90 years coming out for many more years to come. And just before I finish, because I promise I will finish,